the CS, Minister of Public Service, and appreciate her for having gone through a very rigorous process of getting her to this ministry. I just want to really tell her, this is the team I worked with, and whatever the strength you see is what it took ourselves, as me being the team leader, kind of to put ourselves together and understand the, main, the mandate of the Ministry of Public Service, Gender, Senior Citizens, Social Protection, and ASAL. It was a whole paragraph. <laughs> At the, at the end of it, we ended up with a whole paragraph of our ministry, but through this team, where I hand five chief administrative secretaries, I hand four permanent secretaries, we are able to come together in this particular boardroom every time, consult one another, make decisions, and measure our progress. I also want to really thank His Excellency President, Dr. William Ruto, and for really spearheading this transition, the way he has handled the public servants, especially CSEs and the CASs and the PSEs during this transition has really been a, a great job that has made all of us comfortable and we have seen how he has used the senior civil servants that he found, like the head of public service, to facilitate transition. So I want to thank him, uh, Your Excellency the CS, and you can also pass that uh, uh, appreciation to him. Let me also appreciate His Excellency the President, Uhuru Kenyatta, who for the last 10 years has been able to steer this country and government for the kind of result that we see, which now this coming government is going to build on. Uh, for the 10 years, I think I can say with the norm fear of contradiction that during the time of His Excellency President Kenyatta, public service has been really strengthened. So, Madam, what you are finding, you will find a very solid public service, and I think that's what the building block that you take. You also find in State Department of Gender, we have tried to measure ourselves, and we have found just this year, His Excellency the President Uru Kenyatta was awarded Gender Award from the AU. And that gender award was really a, a, a breakthrough in Africa, where without assessing ourselves, it was found in Kenya, we have crossed the gender gaps in terms of access to education, access to health, access to better quality of, of, of life. So I think there are tangible, demonstrable results that you build on. We also moved from number 118 uh, as a country, 118 in terms of gender development index to number right now we are actually number what number 57 we are number 118 in 2020 2020 no we are number 118 in the 2018 in the 2020 we are number 95 and in the 2022 we are number 57 so that cs i just now tell you we are 57 we hope to get it to the 40s mm. this is very very important because in gender space everybody could be doing everything but if you don't really measure progress are we making progress then you don't know if you are doing a good job we have also seen for the very first time more women were elected as governors who are elected as member of parliament and also within the county and also the number of women in the executive the number of women in judiciary for sure we are at our best we are not where we would like to be but we are at our best and I'm happy to hand over that to you so that you can build on it. I also want to thank the team that I've been working with, especially PSS and other senior staff, because when we were told by the head of public service we prepare for you, they have done all the briefing. That's why we are not talking a lot here now. But the briefing has been done to you to tell us, to tell you what are the functions of this ministry, what are our achievements, what are our challenges, and what you are going to take over. That is the report I'm going to give it to you. My fifth point would be, I didn't want to highlight the critical role of public service, especially also including gender and all issues of diversity and inclusion. CS, one of the things that you are going to, to find very useful is to be sure that once we know 
the manifesto, we understand the sustainable development goals, we understand the vision, Kenya Vision 2030. With these teams, we will look at what you already defined because they are already plans. Mm. Looking at the plans, you look at how we organize structures that can deliver on those plans. You do a lot of coordination and then assessing through performance uh, contracting uh, management to see how each ministry is moving. So you find this ministry is the center that holds in the public service. You are all, and I think that's why I really wanted to reach this point, you are all will be to help public servants make Saudi decisions. That's why you have come at the political level, so that a lot of things they struggle with, sometimes in public service, you're not making decisions very quickly. You will take that political responsibility and help them with the information they will put on the table, with the data they will put on the table, consult Windry, help them make a decision and move regarding the, the, the policies that we need to develop. Madam CS will be measured by how many policies have you formulated, how many policies have you reviewed? How many policy advisory have you given? So that I think that is what the ministry is supposed to do, rather than to be seen more like implementing. The implementing are state corporations and us. That means if you have a sound policy, the state corporations and us will implement. And then you will be held for coordination because you should know at the implementation level which, ministry, which department is implementing what and how successful are they or where do they require help. Therefore, uh, was, we, we want to wish you all the best and uh, you will be providing that effective leadership at policy level and also as a strategic direction in line with the national development goals. That is the role of the uh, uh, CS. And also ask the staff, don't bombard the CS with many technical issues. Okay. CS has the policy and there's a strategic intent so that you leave her to just review at that level and be the branch that takes you to the cabinet for any decision. Finally, I want to say every administration meets its own challenges. Unique. For now, we know the manifesto has really addressed things to do with cost of living, the serious situation of uh, the economy, we also realize that uh, as this administration is coming in, we are having severe droughts where Kenya has not uh, had rain for the last four seasons. But I want to say together, you and the team here, challenges can be turned to opportunities. So long as you stay together, the, every, there's no administration round over that doesn't have its own challenges. But the, the, the wisdom of it is to have those challenges change to opportunities. So CS, I wish you all the best. We are just a telephone away when you will give you space. Let me declare that. <laughs> we'll give you a lot of space so that you can work for this country because the position we hold are positions of honor, positions of privilege, and the position of high trust. Therefore, there are 50 million Kenyans, but me and you and our other senior civil servants have had an opportunity to give service to Kenya for the purpose of getting a better quality of life for all Kenyans, as indicated in Vision 2030. Therefore, we will support you when you need us, and I can assure you the team that I'm leaving behind is a very strong team that should give you comfort so that you, have, you don't have sleepless nights. Because if you have sleepless nights, then you will not be able to support his excellence, the president. And we want you to succeed. We are also told in the leadership, if you exit a leadership, and somebody else comes, and that leadership fails, then I was a bad leader. Mm. Are we together? Yes. So uh, I, I am very concerned and interested in success of CS. Uh, Aisha Jumo, yeah. so that it is part of my success because I've given her the button. Yeah. So as she moves on, she'll be building on that block, mm -hmm. and whoever else she'll give, this country will be a better country. Therefore, I want to stop here and wish you all the best and God's blessings, and also the PSS who are with me. I wish you well if you survive. I think <laughs> <laughs> we leave that to God because I want, I'm one person who believes God will always put you where he wants you to be, not where you want to be.